Hello everyone, it's Jack from Visual Effects Hut. Um, today we'll be looking at how to get this cave wall texture into Redshift and get the displacement working. Now in Cinema 4D, we want to create a plane. Then we want to create a Redshift material. Drag that on the plane. Also, we want to create a dome light. Geo is already set up. We will go for just the open field. Crank the light up a bit. So now we've got our RS material on this plane. So let's jump into the shader graph. Um, you can just go to textures and drag in the textures from here, or we can just drag them in. So I'm going to bring in all of them. So we've got our roughness, our normal, our height, and our base colour. So first let's start with the base colour and we will attach that to the diffuse colour. Then we want to attach a colour correction node. And then choose reflection roughness. The reason we have used a colour correction node is to just tweak the shininess if we need to. Um, the normal map, there are two ways, but we will do the bump way. So if we go to the bump map, drag our normal into there, texture input, change the height field to tangent space normal, And then drop that in overall bump input. If you want to make it look a bit more 3D, even though it's not, we can knock this up and make it more intense. Let's just make it ridiculous. Yeah, just want it on one. And then finally, we got the height. So we just go to displacement. Grab your out of the displacement, pick text map, and then this goes into the output displacement. So you'll see it's done nothing. We'll leave this set to one. Um, also, you can adjust the reflection, the amount of light hitting it. But again, this is not a really speculative interior, so it's not going to make much difference. The other thing to note is to, with normal maps, make sure their gamma is enabled to 1 and also roughness maps. So once we've got that, first let's go to our plane and we want to create a redshift tag object and then we want to go to geometry we want to override we want to enable tessellation and displacement if 
we set both of these values to 20 and see what it does. It's got something that's looking pretty nice. So let's scale this down. Probably a bit too crazy, I'd say. So we'll just knock that down. Yeah, it's quite nice. Well, we can up, up the subdivisions as well for a bit more detail. And it does look quite stony. So what other tweaks can we do? So if we jump back into our material, as it's stone, we can knock the IOR value down. Depends on your scene and your lighting and stuff, but it's usually probably between 1.1 1 .1 and 1 1.3, depending on the look that you're going for. 